Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Ben Buzzard of uh, Charlotte Football. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Thanks for having me on the podcast. So just kind of talk about you just told me um, first practice wrapped up today. How'd it go? So, yeah, um, my first practice went pretty well. Um, we got some uh, great returning guys, I think, that are really going to help us out. Um uh, I think our core group of guys, well, I'll take that back. Our whole team, I'd say, we're pretty tight. Um, you know, it's not like the stereotypical, like the seniors are always picking on the freshmen, making them always pick up the field, you know. I think there's just a mutual, like, respect for everybody on the team um, trying to accomplish one goal. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, we have a lot of respect for our opponents, but um, I think we're – we're ready to go and be better than we were last season and just keep improving and building. So I know that a lot of, you know, a lot of players do a lot of things during the off season. What, what did you specifically do to get, you know, improved during the season? So, yeah, in the off season, um, you know, I just dedicated every day that I could to the weight room, um, trying to bring as many guys as uh, in there with me as possible. Um I did uh, private quarterback training lessons with um, a guy by the name of Ryan Van Dyke, yep. kind of just going out, taking reps and, you know, trying to improve on my craft. So, yeah, I'd say just working 100 percent on getting stronger, faster and also mentally ready for the season. How do you get mentally ready for for a season like this? So, yeah, um Definitely one of the most important things is the playbook. Um, Cause personally as a quarterback, you know, you gotta be able to know what everyone's doing um, at every given uh, on every given play. Um, also being, becoming mentally tough. Um, Coach Sparks has a great program where every day, every Monday during school at lunch, the team comes in and we do what we call a uh, mental training. He talks us through a lot of um, different it's like more or less life situations that football like translates to life, um, whether it be discipline, self-control, um, uh, stuff like that, having respect for your peers. So more or less, it's also just be like sharpening your mind outside of football, being mentally tough for uh, adversity and uh, things that aren't going to go your way. You just have to be able to bounce back and, yeah. How do you handle like, you know, when things aren't going well, what do you do? So, yeah. Um, unfortunately last season I went down in about week five with a collarbone injury. And so it was really tough for me to be able to bounce back from that, but I knew like it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna help, help our team at all. If I just stood on the sidelines and sulked, um, so I tried my best to be positive, showing up to practice still every day, trying to coach young guys. And I ended up coming back for our playoffs, playing a uh, receiver and letting our backup Christian, you know, he did a great job and I really love Christian. He's a great guy. So he did a really great job with our team. Um, so to answer your question, how we can bounce back from stuff like that, it's just knowing that you know, on to the next play, having a short mind. Um, because if you keep focusing on the previous play, you're not going to be able to know your job for the next play and know what's coming next if you just keep remembering that last play. Yeah. So going into this season, knowing it's the last go-round for you, how do you uh, – what's it going to be like? Yeah, it's, it's really tough. Um, I mean – I just feel like these four years have just flown by like, um, you know, but it's my senior year and I know a lot of guys feel the same way. We just have to put maximum effort out there because it's our final go around and we need to help build up our program for the guys coming up, um, coaching them in ways that, you know, they're going to be able to do the same for people in grades lower than them. So, I mean, our last go around and I think we just got to put as much effort in as humanly possible remember it's always good to leave something better than you than you came in with so right yes sir um 
Okay, so let's, you know, going through the season and all that stuff, like, what do you do to get, like, get ready for a game? Like, I mean, I so, know like, it, it sounds, like, simple, but it's really yeah. complicated. Right. So I think getting ready for a game starts um, on Monday, basically, before the game. Um, basically, the whole entire week of practice is focusing on your job every play and what you're going to do to be able to like dedicate yourself to being a hundred percent discipline to your job. Because if you're focusing on what someone else is doing, you're not going to be able to um, completely do uh, your assignment. So, I mean, before a game really, it starts at the start of the week and practice every day Um, guys showing up and giving all they can to, be ready for our Friday, um, Friday night jitters, basically it happens to everybody, but that really only means you're excited and you're ready to go. So I think just knowing that you practice hard all week, um, it kind of helps you settle down a little bit to to know that you're ready for the competition. Okay. Let's go, let, um, um, let's go in your head a little bit. We're like right before game, what what what's what's been feeling so yeah um before a game man there's just so much going through my head like play calls re- trying to read uh coverages all that stuff knowing what everyone's doing so in my head i really i kind of just sit back and sometimes i just let personally this is what i believe i believe that there's a god and there's a higher power so I sometimes just leave what's not humanly possible up to him. But what I can do is, you know, like think about what I have to do, like knowing every play, um, knowing the snap count, knowing the down and distance, know how much time is left. So in my head before a game, there's just a lot going on. But it's sometimes, you know, you just got to calm down, take a breath and be ready. Um. So entering in this year, you know, like talk about like some of, you know, the goals that you have and what you want to accomplish in this last year. Um, Personally, last year I was all conference, only playing basically two and a half of the game. So I, my personal goal is to be all region this year. Um, Another personal goal of mine um, is to, um, have let's see I think it was 12 passing and five rushing touchdowns um and throw under three interceptions yeah um so so let's talk about like how would someone describe you on the field yeah so I think someone would start to describe me as definitely a leader um I think I really take really good control of our offense, um, settling guys down in the huddle, you know, answering questions. I think people could also describe me as a very charismatic guy. I think I, I don't really have anyone on the team that I dislike or dislikes me. Um, I also think that I'm a great, like culture guy. Like I'm I'm not, I have good integrity. I'm not going to say something and do another thing. I'm going to stand on my word and, you know, do uh do uh, um our culture is kind of telling us to do um so what would um you know i know that obviously not everyone you know everyone's there's going to be eight teams that win and everyone else is going to be disappointed but overall what would uh you know i know everyone wants to you know win and win a championship but what would you know i know that Obviously, you know, not everyone's going to do that, but what would satisfy you in saying, okay, this is a successful year for you? Um, Honestly, I think like the only thing that will be successful for me is to win a state championship. Um, uh, It's definitely an attainable uh, goal, but it's all up to us and our team. Um, Been dreaming of playing on Ford Field since probably fourth grade. So that that's really the only thing I could really leave the season with is a success. Okay. Let's get to know you a little bit, Ben. How about that? Okay. Okay. So 
Um, what, um, let's see, what is on, um, what's on Ben Buzzard's playlist before a game? My playlist before a game. Um, I kind of, I, I'm a, I'm a rock guy, honestly, before a game, definitely. I love okay. like ACDC and some of that old stuff, Ozzy Osbourne. That's definitely, I, I'm more of a rock guy. I know some a lot, guys, of, a lot of old hits were at the practice I was at today. So that yeah. was, um, oh, uh, got to throw Metallica in there too. That's definitely a good one. Oh, geez, there we go. Um, okay, so what is your favorite sports team to root for? Uh, got to go with the Lions, honestly, definitely. Okay, they're winning uh, twelve games this year, definitely. Okay, well, the one of the you know the last person I asked that to said they were going all the way to the Super Bowl and winning it. So I could see that too, honestly. Okay. We'll have to see in uh we'll have to see at the end of the season if that take was actually good or was it actually really, really bad. So we'll see. Yeah. Um what's um what's what's been what's one of Ben's favorite thing to do outside of school, outside of football, outside of you know, what what do you like to do? Yeah. Um I just love to be on the water, honestly. I love boating, tuing, kind of swimming. That's one of my favorite things to do, just be out on the water. It's awesome. It's uh um okay. Um name a sport, name something you want to try but haven't had the chance to do it. Uh that's a tough question, honestly. I don't know. That's a thing. Um I wanna try to I'm not actually sure on that one. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it's like, do you ever want to like try tennis or pickleball or pick up a golf club again? Or, um, I would actually kind of want to try baseball. Honestly, I've n- I haven't played baseball since like t-ball, so baseball you, is definitely something. You, you would you would you consider like you know you know it's like one last hurrah before everyone goes off and goes their separate ways. Yeah, I want to try out for baseball this year. Honestly, I think I might. I've been debating it for like since like freshman year. I've just never done it. So now it's that pressure of being a senior. I think I might just just do it. I mean, just try it out. Yeah. You play basketball too? Yeah. Nice. Um okay. Okay, so name three things that people do not know about you. Let's see. Three things people do not know about me. Um uh huh. Just think, interesting honestly, facts about you. Facts, okay. Definitely I like rock music. I think uh it's kind of an old old thing. I don't know if it's really popular hey, anymore. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um I'm kind of into like older cars. Like I love like old like my dad has an old Trans Am and it's like just one of my favorite, like I don't know. They're just really interesting to me. Yeah. And um of course, uh, Lastly, Green Cruise is coming up uh, in a few weeks. So, yeah. All right. Um, lastly, let's see. Honestly, I'm not a very big fan of like video games. Like, I've never just really been into them. Yeah. Um, ever like I played like Wii Sports when I was young, and I have like an hey, Xbox. Everyone's, like, hey, everyone's hey, ever everyone love hey everybody loves Wii some me some Wii Sports. Dude, Am Wii, I right? Wii Sports Resort. Wii Sports Resort has got to be one of them. It's Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. I love those two things. And there's a bunch of, uh, um, I guess, the, I, I, you know, there I know there's a bunch of, um, you know, th- there's a lot of these AI presidents presidents play channels that that play those two games, and they're well, some of them are really really funny, but some of them aren't. <laughs> But um, yeah, so it's like everyone's like, "Hey, let's go play table tennis or sword fighting or something like that." So, the the basketball and we resort is one of the like it's just one of the best like I don't even know. That is that is that is amazing. That's that's some that's some good stuff right there. So, um, all right. Well, Ben, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and best of luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having me.